Hey everyone, Jessica Kubasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to be going over something very simple, removing things from photo. Now, it might sound really, really hard, and sometimes it's we really, really just want to like start crying, but don't worry because there is a solution on how to do this. Now, this is just my personal technique, and this is just the way I do it. I normally don't remove stuff from photos unless there's like a person in it, and I either hate the person, or they just ruin the whole photo, which is, it's probably just they ruined the photo. So hopefully you don't have a lot of people that you hate out there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just make a new layer. And what I'm going to do, what I normally do is use the clone stamp tool. And okay, so first thing I want to get rid of is this thing right here and this stick coming out right here. I mean, I don't even know what that is, honestly. So it's got to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set my opacity to 99%. Actually, no, 100. I don't know why I said 99. Um, I'm going to sample the area. And my hardness is about 7%. And my size for the brush is 150. Okay. So I'm just going to sample from this area over here. And color over. And if it's not looking like it's meshing in, don't worry because you can always go over it. But you want to sample nearby. So I kind of just got rid of that pretty easily. And then I want to get rid of this over here. And sometimes what people will do is they'll click and drag. So you want to add the area to where it's closest so that when you drag it'll kind of sample that area nearby. But you want to be careful because then you'll end up with a duplicate. But what you could do is simply do that first, create the foundation, and then sample from other areas. But you want to make sure that you're not dragging too much and creating a blur because then it's going to be noticeable that you're you know, trying to get rid of somebody or something. So you want to sample from other areas, and that was pretty easy actually, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. And actually now I can see, actually no, okay, that's pretty good. So this was pretty simple, I think I'm going to create another tutorial that's more in depth, but this is really the easiest way to do it, just clone stamp, and again, you do not want to sample from just one area. You want to use more than one area to make it look consistent and to not make it look repetitive because it, if it is repetitive then it's going to look like it's something. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys the before and after. And on this as well. And if you, I really wanted to because I can see a repetition I can just go in there and just add something to just break it up. And I'm not click dragging, I'm clicking and then I'm holding it down and clicking one, once. So hope that was simple. This is just um, an intro to this because there's more advanced ways of doing it, but this is probably the easiest way. Um, hope this was helpful for some of you guys. Thanks you guys for watching.